So here I have a global variable called global x. I have a function called global scope. So I want to like show two functions. So I want to know if this variable that's global can be accessed in both these functions. And then this guy is going to have his own variable. And this guy is going to have his own variable. And then they both are going to try to access x1 and x2. It's pretty much the same code. It's just what I define where. can have the keyword function when we call the function and remember that you need a semicolon at the end so we are going to call function 1 and function 2 so if you refresh the page good so this is a good thing so see how it is saying it it, it is fine with the global x value Let's put a breakpoint, see what happens, really. So x1 is 10. We are assigning that inside. What is global x? Okay, the problem was because I did not have the variable way up top. So that was the reason why. Okay, so I have the two functions called global x and global y, right? So the global uh, versus local scope one and two. So this guy, this is called as a local variable. This guy is also called as local variable. So a local variable is only accessible within that function scope. As soon as that function is done executing that variable is released into the memory and then the next time you come in it again makes that variable for you okay it gets destroyed right away whereas a global variable is going to be accessible to all the functions and all the areas inside the javascript okay so that is why it's called as global scope so that both the functions here can share the global x variable but they keep their own x1 and x2 x2 is only accessible within the scope 2, x1 is only accessible within scope 1, that function. Okay. So for example, here if you see x2, it doesn't know, but it knows x1, it knows global x. So it is going to throw an error saying, I don't know what that thing is. So x2 is not accessible within the first one because it is local to this guy. Same thing happens to the other guy also. So same story is here also the case. Just so I don't get errors, let me just take that out. So x2 So this variable is local only to this function and this variable is only ac accessible by this function but the global x is accessible across both the functions. Okay? So if you change global x in this guy Fix 
thousand. So what will happen here? So if you change the global x value anywhere, you are going to get the updated value in the other places also. Okay. So so global x. So first x one was ten. It wrote the global x value five. Then it wrote ten. These two functions. And when you came here, it got the six thousand because the edit happened before you call the local scope too. So here global x value was five. When you came here, it became six thousand because this particular function modified the value of the global x variable. And then because it is global, it is reflected when you use it in this where in this particular scope. Okay. So that is the scope of the local and the uh, that that is where you know whether it's a local scope or a global scope. So you have to know you have to be very careful when using global variables because you could inadvertently change it in one function and and you know get affected all throughout the code. But the advantage is that you get to share that data across the different functionalities. So that is the scope scope of a variable.